When all crimes are commercial page 1. When all crimes are commercial. CFR 27 section 72.11. Victimized by our so-called legal system. Reply to Citizens Rights Task Force at Yahoo.com Citizens Rights Task Force at Yahoo.com Date, the 16th of July 2007, 1.31 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time. Have you or a family member been victimized by our so-called legal system? There is help, however it will not come from an attorney at law for they are the problem, not the solution. The Citizens Rights Task Force is here to help. Why? Consider the following facts. According to the late Chief Justice William H. Rehnquist, 100% of the people that are in federal or state penitentiaries are there voluntarily. Don't believe it. We have some simple yes or no questions to prove how one is duped into forfeiting their rights and trading them for statutory privileges. An attorney at law is an arm of the state and their first duty is to the court, then the government. Not to you. Furthermore, whenever any duty to you interferes with their first duty, you are the one that is to take back seat. Think you have attorney-client privilege where what you say to an attorney at law remains private. Ever hear of discovery? This is where your attorney is ordered to turn over your information to the state that is attempting to incarcerate you. One in 32 Americans is either in prison or on parole or probation. Over 40% of people admitted into prisons in America are convicted under the Political Code and therefore, by definition, political prisoners. Furthermore, since Political prisoners end up with mandatory longer sentences, the cumulative effect is that they end up being the majority of the population. America's incarceration rate is now 743 per 100k the highest in the world. America locks up more people for drug crimes than all of Europe locks up for all crimes combined. If you go to trial in federal court, there is a 96% chance of being convicted. Do you really believe that only 4% are innocent? It is the government's position that if you do not know your rights, then you don't have any. According to 27 CFR 72.11, burglary, counterfeiting, forgery, kidnapping, larceny, robbery, illegal sale or possession of weapons, prostitution, extortion, swindling, and many other things like simple addiction to drugs or marijuana use, are considered and defined as commercial crimes where you are converted to an object for commercial use and due process of law becomes a farce. So, what is the solution? Learn and exercise your rights. They are yours, do you know? When all crimes are commercial page 2. Them. We are here to help you, however in the end it is you who must stand up for your rights. Judge Al Jaffe stated it very clearly in the case of US v Johnson, 76 Federation Sup. 538, that your rights are neither accorded to the passive resistant, nor to the person indifferent thereto. Furthermore Judge Fee stated that your rights cannot be claimed by attorney or solicitor and are only valid when insisted upon by a belligerent claimant in person. His final warning was clear that one who is persuaded by honeyed words or moral suasion to testify or produce documents, simply loses the protection of your rights. What the Citizens' Rights Task Force has to offer is not for the timid, but for the one who is ready to stand up and fight for their rights. If you don't care about your rights, go get an attorney and go to jail. For a free catalogue of educational materials, explaining more about how you can fight for your rights, send a blank email with the words educational materials in the subject line to Citizens Rights Task Force at Yahoo.com and be prepared to be amazed. Commercial Crimes this is just a quick outline of research sites that I found while trying to understand commercial crimes as set out in 27 CFR 72.11 below, in part. 27 CRF 72.11 purports to define some crimes as commercial crimes. Sector 72.11 meaning of terms. As used in this part, unless the context otherwise requires, 
Terms shall have the meanings ascribed in this section. Words in the plural form shall include the singular, and vice versa, and words importing the masculine gender shall include the feminine. The terms includes and including do not exclude things not enumerated which are in the same general class. Commercial crimes Any of the following types of crimes, federal or state offences against the revenue laws, burglary, counterfeiting, forgery, kidnapping, larceny, robbery, illegal sale or possession of deadly weapons, prostitution, including soliciting, procuring, pandering, white slaving, keeping house of ill fame, and like offences, extortion, swindling and confidence games, and attempting to commit, conspiring to commit, or compounding any of the foregoing crimes. Addiction to narcotic drugs and use of marijuana will be treated as if such were commercial crime. If, maybe, we are all presumed, by silent judic- When all crimes are commercial page 3. If, maybe, we are all presumed, by silent judical notice, to be engaged in commerce- Commerce and tribal accordingly under merchant law for slash commercial law, perhaps the proper administrative forum to start an administrative complaint. Complaint would be the successors to the Interstate Commerce Commission, ICC. Dear, Government Alphabet Soup Agency, these court folks have the crazy idea that I am somehow involved in commerce. I don't know where they got that idea. I would like a determination of status, or of activity, from you. If we could get the Alphabet Soup Agency to make an administrative determination that, for whatever reason, it does not have jurisdiction because we are not engaged in commerce, then that should end the complaint by removing it from the jurisdiction of a possible commerce court. <laughs>